Hello developers, welcome back to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of React development that is event handling. Events are a key part of making any web app interactive. Whether it's a clicks, hovers, form inputs or anything else, React components need to handle events and respond to user interaction. But events work a little bit differently in React compared to normal DOM events. There are some key concepts and best practices to understand. I also wanted to take a quick moment to thank all of you who have shown incredible support for my ebook JavaScript A Comprehensive Guide from ES 2015 to ES 2023. Your response has been truly amazing. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, this ebook is your one stop shop to learn everything JavaScript from ES 2015 to the latest ES 2023 features. It's packed with explanations, examples, and best practices to help you master the language. This ebook is designed for all levels. So, whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, you will find value in it. So why wait, grab your copy today from the link in the video description and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more JavaScript content. Now let's get started. Let's kick things off by understanding what event handling is all about. In React, event handling refers to a process of capturing and responding to user actions such as clicks, key presses and form submissions. In React, setting up event handler function is quite straightforward. You define a function that specifies what should happen when a specific event occurs. We have already seen some examples of event handling in previous videos on React. For example, in the components item list component and here we have a button and on click this button it executes add item function that is defined right here. On change the value of this in input field it executes this handle new item input change function. It is defined right here. In normal DOM elements, events are also handled using attributes like on click, on change. But keep in mind that in normal DOM elements, these attributes are defined in lower case and function is passed in double code. For example, here we can say on click is equal to in double quotes add item function like this but it is not valid in react instead here we need to use on click in camel case and then is equal to in curly braces the function name add item without parentheses like this similarly here we have also a counter component and here we have two buttons on click this button it executes increment function this one that increments the count value with plus one similarly on click this button it executes increment five like this and it calls increment function this one five times let's see one more example let's set up a basic event handler function for a button click event so first let's add a button tag and it has value let's say submit and on click this button it execute function handle click now let's create this function function handle click and it simply console logs button clicked now to see this action first let's go to the app component 
and here first let's clean up this app component so let's remove all of these and remove all of these also next uh, uncomment this counter component and uncomment this also next uh, let's take a look at the browser next in the inspect tool console on click this submit button it has captured the button clicked event in this example we have defined a function handle click that will be executed when this button is clicked and it's what allow us to create interactive user interface now that you understand the basic of setting up event handler function next let's see passing arguments to these handler function suppose you have a list of buttons each with a different label and you want to log the label when button is clicked so for that here i'm going to duplicate this button and here it is button one and button two and here this one button three now we have three buttons and handle click function is attached to these buttons on click this button how we can track which button was clicked for that this uh, handle click function going to accept a label and then in this console log label and then concat was clicked like this next in this button how we can pass this label argument to this function you may say that we just add parentheses and then pass button one like this it may not work let's see so in the browser refresh immediately it logged button one was clicked even we have not clicked on this button and if we click this button handle click function is not executed so it is not an idle way because it executes this function immediately and then on click it it did not works so instead of this here we need to use arrow function so we will use parentheses and then arrow and then call handle click function and pass the argument button one similarly right here and right here for this button here we will pass button two and here button three save this go back to browser refresh nothing is logged into the console click button one button one was clicked button two button two was clicked and then on click button three button three was clicked great so in this example we have handle click function that takes label as argument and we then attach this function to each button on click event and pass a unique label for each button so when the button is clicked the label argument allow us to identify which button was clicked and work with its specific data this is a powerful way to customize your event handling similarly let's look at these two button also for this button it calls increment and on this button it calls increment 5 and in this increment 5 function it calls increment function 5 times instead of this function we want to call this increment on click this button and then we will pass the increment value 5 in this function argument so for that first this increment function going to accept a number and then here previous value plus number next uh, right here we are going to call arrow function and then it is going to return increment and then pass argument one similarly for this also arrow function increment and pass value five next we no longer need this increment five so let's remove this let's take a look at browser refresh on click this plus one it is incremented by one and on click this plus five it is incremented by five now you have got a good understanding of passing arguments we will move on the complexity of properly binding event handlers in class components 
in class components, event handlers can be a bit tricky. When an event occurs and triggers a handler, the value of this within that handler may not be what you expect. This can lead to errors or unexpected behavior. So let's see how we can properly bind event handlers to avoid these issues. Let's create a same counter component in class. So in the components directory, let's create a new file counter class component dot jsx and next in this component first import from react and then I put component next create class counter class component that extends component from react next we need to export default counter class component and this class needs a renderer function so renderer and it is going to return div and uh, this div has a button plus one next in the paragraph tag we have count for now let's say zero next we need to create a count state in case if you do not know about state management i have already created a video on this topic make sure to watch that video also so here to create a state first we need to create a constructor so constructor and then here we will say this dot state is equal to uh, object and this object has count initially it is zero and make sure this constructor calls a super function like this now here in this count we can print in the curly braces this dot state dot count now on click this button we want to increment this count so here on click on click this button it is going to call increment function so first let's create this increment next in this increment function to update state value we need to call this dot set state this set state going to accept a callback function let's create a arrow function and this arrow function going to accept previous state and next it is going to return an object it has count property and here we will say previous state dot count plus one like this next we can call this increment function right here so here we can say this dot increment like this our counter class component is ready so next in the app component here let's import this so import from the components directory counter class component next right here let's add the counter class component tag let's take a look at the browser refresh and this count is from the counter class component and on click this button we immediately get the error cannot read property of undefined set state the error is right here this dot set state comment this and console log this here this keyword should log this counter class component but if we see in the browser refresh and on click this button you can see it has logged undefined so value of this keyword is not binded to this class so how we can fix this we can fix this by using bind method so in the constructor here we can say this dot increment this function name is equal to this dot increment the same function name dot bind this now save this next in the browser refresh and click this button now this time you can see it has logged counter class component 
this class name now comment this console log and uncomment this set state refresh now on click this button it is incrementing the count this is one way to fix this issue using bind method but i prefer to use arrow function let's see this also so comment this and comment this function also now let's create this increment function using arrow function so increment is equal to arrow function next let's console log this go back to browser refresh and on click this button you can see it has logged counter class component so we can use this set state right here in this arrow function like this so let's go to browser refresh on click this plus one button it is incrementing the count great so this arrow function is a straightforward solution this ensures that this keyword will always refer to the instance of the class and allow us to update the components state now you understand the foundation of event handling in react and it is what allow us to create interactive user interface as you explore react further you will find that you can handle various events in similar ways so that's all for today's video if you found this tutorial helpful make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe button for more amazing react content don't forget to comment down below with any questions or suggestions for further videos until next time happy coding and stay reactive